All right, guys. In uh, these series of videos, I'm going to show you how to convert uh, from meters to milliliters and from meters to feet, and also yards to inches. Okay. On the first one, what you need to do is you need to write down the given over one, which is 3.25 meters over one. Okay. Now. Think about meters and millimeters. Okay, you need to figure out which one's the biggest, which one's the smallest. Meters is bigger than millimeters. Okay, if you look at the units here, if meters is up at the top, then diagonally to the bottom, it needs to be meters. Now, what you're looking will always eventually end up on top, which in this case, we're converting to millimeters, so mm will be in the top. Now, what do you know about millimeters? Well, since we've already said that meters is bigger than millimeters, then the meters will get the one. Now, if you remember, meters is three places away from millimeters. Because remember the old saying, kangaroos hop down under drinking chocolate milk. Okay, kilo, heca, deca, that's D-A, units, deci, centi, milli. Units is where meters would be. Millimeters is where uh, this M would be. Notice that that's one, two, three moves away. So that's three zeros. One, two, three. So basically, it takes a thousand millimeters to make one meter. And that allows for meters to cancel out, leaving us with just millimeters. Well, 3.25 times a thousand is 3,250. And believe it or not, that is still three sig figs. So, our answer is 3,250 millimeters. And it's your final answer, so box it in. Now, on the next one, we have uh, 2,500 meters, and we need to convert that to feet. Okay, what you will do is this. You will write down the given, which is uh, 2,500 meters, and put it over 1. Now, this problem, you can work several different ways. You can use a chart, which I provided to you in Chapter 1 Notes on my web page. It's slide uh, 37, right here, slide 37, out of the notes from Chapter 1. Now, here, it, they tell us that in one meter, there are 39.7 inches. Uh, they also tell us how many inches are in a centimeter. Um, so, we have different scenarios that we can run. Uh, as far as how to figure this out. Usually what most people do is they would try to connect uh, meters and, and inches like that and then go to feet, however you want to do it. Uh, what I would do is this. I would look at these and decide which of these two I wanted to do. I like the 2.54 centimeters because almost everybody knows that one. Okay. So what I would say is meters would be down here, then centimeters would be up on top then that would tell me that in one meter there's a hundred centimeters. If you look, meters is here, centimeters is there, that's two spaces away, so that's why there's two zeros on that with the one to make a hundred centimeters for one meter. But I gotta keep going. But I know that there are 2.54 centimeters in one inch. Now notice that I still have uh, inches on top. I don't have feet yet, but I do know this. I know that there are 12 inches and one foot. Okay, so basically we just need to take a handy dandy cheetah and punch this in. Uh, we have 2500 times 100 times 1 times 1, which is 250,000, divided by 2.54, and divided by 12. That ends up being. Now we need two sig figs. That ends up being 8,202.099738. Now I only need two sig figs, so I'm just going to write down 8.2 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, to the third power, and that would be in feet. Okay, and that would be my final answer. Now on the last one, this is a little bit easier. Take the given, which is 3 yards, 3.00 yards, put it over 1. What do you know about yards and inches? Well, we know that in 1 yard, there are 3 feet, but that's not inches. But we do know this. We know that in 1 foot, there are 12 
inches. So basically what we have here is 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 12 is 108, and that's 3 sig figs just like we have here. So that's 108 yards cancel, feet cancel, leaving us with inches. Alright guys, this is how you set up uh, dimensional analysis or unit conversion using a what some people refer to as ladder method. So look at these examples, go through them slowly, and remember that you have this chart that can help you on chapter 1 notes, slide 37. Alright guys, I hope this helps.